Yeah, it's great. Perdomo was outstanding. Uh, sinker played well all day. I thought his breaking ball was as good as it has been. Uh, he just attacked hitters all day. And, you know, you go seven innings, no walks, uh, no earned runs. Uh, he keeps getting better. I mean, that's like what his ceiling is right there. He probably could run him back out for the eighth, but my perspective is like, let's get this guy out of here with no earned runs for the first time in his career through seven innings. Uh, he, w he was great. Yeah, you know, that team, they punched out some this year. So, uh, you know, that's part of what you can do to them if you locate the pitch with two strikes. Uh, I, I thought his sinker was good. I thought the first inning was up a little bit. I think he got two of the three outs in the air that first inning. Uh, him and Darren Balsley talked a little bit between that those two innings. Next thing you know, sinker's bottoming out again. He's getting ground balls all over the place. So, uh, for him, like, he's got the potential to punch, you know, five to ten guys out of game. Uh, but... Really, it's about getting the ball pounded into the ground. You obviously had high expectations for him uh, when you got to the NFL draft. Do you ever envision that this kind of moves fast as fast as you guys do? No, this is quick. Uh, I mean, usually you're thinking best case scenario with a, a, a long term starter that's young out of low A is you find a way to get him through the season on your roster. Uh, you basically have to hide him to a degree, uh, give him low leverage situations the whole year. Uh, then he probably goes back to double A the next year and then progresses to triple A. And then in a couple years, like he's a fixture in a rotation, uh, that path has been accelerated. And I think he's moved incredibly quickly. And, you know, he's going to have every opportunity to be a fixture in a rotation for years to come. Yeah, I think it's, I think everybody's expectation is like if, He's got every opportunity to be in the rotation next year. Uh, it's hard to guarantee a guy a rotation spot in August of the preceding season, but uh, I, I, he's going to be competing for a spot. He's going to have every opportunity to win it. And uh, I kind of based on what I see with my own eyes, expect him to. It's fun. I mean, like, he's just playing a game and uh, making the big league game look pretty easy, getting on base every single time today. So. Uh, he's hit a curveball. He's hit a fastball in out of the ballpark. He had an off-speed pitch through the right side the other day. He's taken a couple walks. Like it's, He's done a little bit of everything. So uh, as the league tries to figure out what he does or doesn't do well, he's making it hard on him right now. So it's good to see. Yeah, the home run, that's uh, the anomaly. That one doesn't happen too often. But uh, we know what he does on the base pass. Uh, we know how much uh, frustration he can cause the other team, how much chaos he can create, and how much they have to pay attention to everything he does on the bases. So it uh, matter just him getting on and, and doing those kind of things. I still like the bunt game for him. Like, we got to get it going. Like, it's got to be a part of who he is. He's got five bunt hits on the season. Uh, he's a guy I think you look up in a few years, I'd expect him to have 20 a year. So uh, really pre pleased with his progress and really expecting more as the years come.